Hello and welcome back to my channel, I'm Shell Wizard. I'm going to be continuing here in part 4 of the map conversion from Farming Simulator 17 to Farming Simulator 19. Uh, I had a bit of a play around with some parts that I was having some issues with the trees in particular, uh, trying to convert them over from 17 to 19 and getting some kind of um, object or mesh glitch or something was going on. Uh, that was making it look really really weird I tried to use the shaders from 17 and just up the actual version of the shader and it gave me exactly the same problem so there's a good chance the shaders in 19 are the same as they were in 17 just different numbered versions as all uh, that's my guess anyway because I was getting exactly the same problem but uh, so we're gonna have a look at the trees or some of them anyway and then try and work with those and just continue on exporting parts out from the 17 version and then you know making any changes necessary and bringing them over into 19 uh, so I want to go back up a stage because I've kind of got down a fair ways but uh, um, as this uh, shrub long which covers uh, quite a majority of the map so one that I actually skipped over I think for some reason I think I did the street pack and the roads together and then some other parts here and then completely missed those which is what I was saying in the previous versions of the tutorial here, you know, um, sometimes when you're trying to work down the, syn the scene, scene graph here, um, when things are laid out in this particular manner, uh, you can very easily miss something because you're jumping backwards and forwards and you know, up and down the scene graph. Perhaps maybe, you know, my initial thoughts of actually exporting each part out as I go down is not a bad one after all so but I'm just going to come back to this so I don't forget it and do it now so uh, we've got this shrub like I say which potentially covers quite a large area over the map so it looks like it may have some trees in that particular setup which have been um, put down into the ground to make them look like hedges but I think they may be trees um, which have just potentially been tweaked about with a little bit. I'm not sure. Could be just the branches of the trees. Don't know. Anyway, irregardless, we'll export them out and have a look at what we end up with and try and work with that and then see what happens. So I'm just going to take the name from there. What I'm going to do is in the um, previous video, I did some um, time-lapse stuff and I was to try and speed things up, actually exporting the objects directly into the 19 version map folder structure uh, but uh, but this particular case because I've had issues with various different trees and things like that that uh, this is somewhat based around I guess the shrubs and whatever else um, I want to just put that in its own folder so I can work with it a little bit easier so I'm just going to export those out with the appropriate files so we'll create a new folder name it open that up Create our i3d file name, save it, keep the parent directory structure, and let's minimize all of that stuff. So, we do have some shaders here, which is the wind shader. This is the same, a similar, it, it, the actual trees do work with the wind shader, I believe. So, might need to make some changes there. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how that works out. So, and we do have some shared files, which I'm not really sure what that one. <clears throat> would be appropriate for but it's definitely got something to do with the uh, wind shader so we'll need to work with that um, so what I'm going to do then I think is let's see if I can put that directly into the data folder the dollar data file name for the game installation folder set up I'm pretty sure there is a wind shader in there, so uh, we should be able to work with that. Okay, let's close all that down. And then we'll open this up in the 8.10 editor for 19 and just see what we end up with. So let's just do that and have a look if we have any glitches and things going on. And that, it doesn't look like it, so those bushes there, they must be some kind of other... Um, texture shrubbery or whatever else don't think I've come across those before a lot of the times um, when I see those I just think that they're tips of trees that have been 
buried down into the uh, ground. So this must be some other decorative stuff. I probably did see it in 17, just didn't really take much notice. But nonetheless, that looks pretty good actually. So I think I'm going to go with that. We'll just have a quick look and just double check in the materials here. There's nothing freaky going on. But everything there looks okay. Collision box, not too fussed with that because that's more than likely um, non-renderable anyway. So <clears throat> it shouldn't affect anything. So we can probably just ignore that. The actual smoothness and metalness is not going to really affect anything too much. I don't think there. So we'll go with that. That should be okay. So from that, it looks like all of that is working all right. So let's do that um, and then I'll open up the 19 version here go into the maps folder and we'll just drag all of this stuff directly over like so merge the textures folder and I can get rid of all of that completely go back into the 19 version of the Thornbrook map here we'll open that up and then bring this in I think what I'm going to end up doing is um, I'm going to skip a fair amount and I'll just hit record when I find something that you might find of interest um, because in the previous video with the time lapse it was okay and everything and uh, whatever but um, it was quite a lot of work to actually try and time lapse that in a way that uh, it, the video wasn't too long and boring for you to just watch me zip around all over the place um, but uh, it was quite a lot of work to actually set that up. So, <clears throat> and I think if I continue to do that, I'm going to spend more time editing videos than I am actually doing the map conversion. And that's not really what I want to be doing. So uh, what I'll probably do, because like, like I have been saying, a lot of this stuff is rinse and repeat. You literally just export it from the 17 version in whatever form you want to do. Make your changes so that it works with 19 apply the different shaders where appropriate and whatever else and then just bring it in so you know for me to make uh, the same kind of video over and over again it's just going to be very repetitive and I think will be more boring for you guys than informative so for this particular setup though I wanted to uh, in this video have a look at the trees because I have been playing around with those a little bit and just figured out a way or potentially what was going on um, and why they were freaking out uh, I think it's there's certain different mapping ways that uh, textures are mapped from um, 17 to 19 so we'll have a look at that in a little bit so let's just get these uh, shrubs imported or whatever they call these things hedges I'm going to call them hedges and we'll just do that like so and they are now in the map fantastic so we are now getting you know a really nice layout on what we've got to build upon um, and when I get to actually paint in the <clears throat> other terrain textures and whatever else, I think all of this will join together really, really well. Now, there are going to be parts of the fields and things like that where, like, you, it shows with lime and whatever else, um, or whatever. I'm going to possibly have to play around with that a little bit. I might go into game and do it that way instead of doing it through the editor. Again, it's not something I'm really that bothered with at the moment. I want to get the base map functions working to start with because I've still got to work with the farmland system and that in itself is a right nightmare so um, anyway we'll just save this and then I'm going to have a look at the uh, trees and uh, show you what I came across or what I found was a pro potential problem um, that will fix what uh, issues I was having before so we'll delete that let's close this one down and then we'll go back into the 17 version here so in the last video, or the video before, I forget now, whichever one it was, I expo exported out this oak tree, and when I then tried to convert it over and work with 19, it had all of these different uh, weird effects going on. Um, you know, it showed parts of the trunk um, up here, or it looked like parts of the trunk, um, and... Uh, yeah, it was a bit confusing as to why it was doing that, but uh, after a little bit of experimentation and messing around, I think I've managed to figure out what was going on. Now, um, I did also notice another thing as I was <clears throat> making the 
edits to the video and putting it all together these some of these trees on this map have been scaled and that is a big no-no um, because it uh, these trees are they have their own physics because they are cuttable trees and as soon as you start to scale them it will break the physics so they may look good and everything else still at least as far as 17 uh, went but um, if I would imagine I've not tested it but I would imagine if you tried to cut this tree down it would not allow you to do so or it would cut and then freak out and do weird things so um, scaling trees is not really something that you want to be doing if you can help it because it will cause things to break the you know the actual physics of the tree and um, yeah it'll do some really strange things what I'm going to do before I actually export this out I'm going to reset the scaling of it right as I was saying I'm going to rescale this back to its proper size like so and then I'm going to export it so we'll just take the name from there file export selection with files go to the desktop create a new folder paste in the name there and also the file name for the i3d and we'll save keep the parent directory structure yes if I minimize that now you can see we have the same scenario again with the uh, shaders and what have you there so that's fine if I you can forget these ones really because I'm just going to link this back into the shaders in the installation folder for 19 so I'm going to do that by just putting in the dollar data which will then tell it I want to look in the installation folder in the data folder and then shaders and then the appropriate shader so if I do like so I'm going to go ahead and save that and just to show you, if I open this up in the <coughs> Giant Editor 8 for 19, this is what we were having in the previous video. Uh, the tree branches were all freaking out and doing weird things, and it looks like it's showing parts of the trunk up in the attachments, the branches and whatever. Really weird. It took me a little while to figure out what was going on. Um, and I'll just show you the scaling is now correct. It's all set at 1, 1 and 1. So what I actually found was when I looked in the textures, <clears throat> this texture for 17 worked perfectly fine, but it's upside down. If you actually compare that with the normal, this is the correct way up and this one is upside down. So what I actually did was to rotate this by 180 degrees. So if I rotate it by 180, so it's the right way up, or what I will say is the right way up for 19 anyway, and then I resave that. <clears throat> uh, DXT5 with mipmap, so we'll click OK. Now when I reopen it again in the editor, and there we go, fantastic. So now we have an oak tree all converted over with the correct shaders, no errors, and looking the way it's meant to look <clears throat> in the first place. Now obviously all of these things will need to be tested to make sure they are still cuttable and whatever else. But I, will, I don't see any reason why it wouldn't be, so that's good to go. So all I can do, what I can do now then, is just basically bring that into the 19 version of the map. So uh, what have we got here? That's the 17 version, so we'll reopen this one up in the maps folder. <clears throat> and I'll just take all of that, drag it over merge the textures folder we'll get rid of that one reopen the 19 version of Thornbrook and import the tree so file import oak tree stage 4 <clears throat> and there we go fantastic so now we have a oak tree on the map in all its glory and I think that's pretty much what I'm going to have to do for all of the other trees. Um, <clears throat> check the textures and make sure they are actually the correct way up for the way they're mapped to the mesh for 19. <clears throat> I don't know why there would be a difference, but clearly there is. But this is basically what I've had to do to get that to work. So we'll go ahead and save again. <clears throat> 